Tonight, a growing number of car break ins in Prairie Village. Police arrested someone this morning. And as 41 Action News reporter Belinda Post explains, this comes just a day after police arrested two others for the same thing. Police have now sent two teens to the juvenile detention center. They believe are responsible for five to six car burglaries in Prairie Village. Well, there's been a rash of it just recently. But Diane Palinich is the president of the Prairie Ridge Homeowners Association. At least five or six cars were unlocked this morning on West 77th Terrace, giving two 15 year old boys a chance to rummage through and take things. And the fellow next door had a prescription bottle left on his deck. Around 6.40 this morning, officers got wind of and caught the suspects. They're awaiting charges of theft and interference with police. This is on the heels of a similar situation from 2.40 Saturday morning. More vehicles were burglarized at 76th Terrace and Lamar. Police caught two teenage suspects. We're pretty good at locking our cars. Um, living in Prairie Village, it seems like you don't have to do that stuff. But with the recent spike in car burglaries, some neighbors are rethinking security. As if I have friends coming over, just warning them, making sure they, you know, lock their cars. And Diane's own daughter was a victim of the same crime of opportunity a few months ago. And they took a GPS out of the car and ruffled a bunch of papers and things. But uh, we keep our other cars locked. Still. After 50 years in Prairie Village, she says it's a safe place to live. She credits the police force and a close-knit street. We just kind of watch out for each other. It's generally a quiet, very peaceful neighborhood. Police say to prevent this whole situation from happening, don't leave anything of value in your car and lock your doors. Reporting in Prairie Village, Belinda Post, 41 Action News.